Oh, there went one right there crossing the street. What's up everybody? Skitch here, down in Venice, Florida, and today I'm on wheels. It's gonna be a great day, gonna drive down to the Keys. Venice to the Keys is about five to six hours. Uh, be down there for about three days. Let's go have some fun. Still cruising on 75 South. Uh, looks like 226 miles to go. Ooh, there's a big drawbridge. Uh, these views are incredible, but I can't wait to see what the keys are going to be like on a bike. I've been there twice, but never on a motorcycle. It is a windy out. All right, here we are. First stop at Naples. This is the bike. Pretty nice. Just paid my toll for Alligator Alley. This is where we watch out for gators. Uh, one thing I did forget, and I'm gonna pay for it maybe. I've worn a long sleeve shirt the whole morning, but the last three and a half hours, it is warm. I've shed the shirt. I've kind of got bare arms going in the Florida sun for three hours, and I don't have any sunscreen. Basically, um, Alligator Alley is uh, no alligator. They've got fences up everywhere, so I wonder if that's changed things. So there's a truck up here somewhere that's carrying gravel or something. I don't know. I don't think this truck's spitting it up, but man, I'm getting peppered by little bitty pieces like sand. And man, it's just like bee stings and red ants. I don't know. Oh, there it is. I see them up here. Oh, it's just peppering my arms right now like crazy. Yeah, whatever's on there is just tearing me up. One thing that's neat about riding is you feel warm spots, cool spots. Uh, yeah, I'm getting heck. Oh, I can pass that thing. Um, down in Florida, you don't get that warm and cold area too much, although there was just one. Uh, but in Tennessee, when I'm riding, it can be, uh, it can be real warm one minute and then you hit a cold pocket. You smell all kinds of things too when you're riding out, depending on what's blooming and what's around you. So kind of a 4D experience that you miss when you're in a car. Not a good time to wear jeans and a black t-shirt, I'll tell you. Let's see what's going on up here. Well, there's part of the problem right there. Mr. Truck hit somebody, or somebody hit Mr. Truck. Oh, there's the truck part right there. So what did he hit? Oh, that's what he hit. Oh, that's not going to work right there. Oh, no. That's busted. Yeah, but my face has lost five pounds from the heat today in this hot black helmet. So, rookie mistake here. No sunscreen. I don't know if you can see or not. It's red, plus the glove marks. So we're gonna take the 
We're gonna take the gloves off for the last 30 minutes. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in pain. I'm probably gonna be in pain anyway. Yeah, you don't know how bad your arms are burned until you take your gloves off. Key. Uh, Florida Key. I'm gonna try to find Teresa. It says seven minutes. Got four miles to go. See if this guy's friendly. Friendly, friendly, friendly. No, not friendly. Come on. Maybe he's just waiting for me. All right, here's our little place down in Marathon. Nice little canal home. Got the pool covered to keep it heated. It's not been bad though. Of course I haven't got it in it. Got a little fire pit. Nice boat I wish we had access to. And a putting there. Let's try our luck here. Got a couple pots. Marathon headed down to Key West. I have a passenger. Who's the passenger? <laughs> I'm a biker. Yeah, I, there's not as many white caps. Do you feel comfortable going over this bridge on a motorcycle? I don't feel much wind. I mean, it said 14 mile an hour and gusting more, but it's not as windy as what I was riding in yesterday. So they made that old bridge, um, they've refinished it, made it look that nice. Yeah, probably a walk and a ride. That'd be a good walk every day, wouldn't it? I think I'd rather ride it on my bicycle.
definitely rain over there to our left. That's the original seven mile bridge. What's left of it. They look fine. Alrighty, down on Key West. Definitely soaked now, probably, but we got 40 minutes of all. You can push on, all right? Do it. Keep going. I'm gonna take a walk down here out of the neighborhood. There's supposed to be the water supposed to be really close to here. Here's a nice little spot. Marathon's a great place. Um, you know, you're in the Florida Keys, but you're not down in the hustle of Key West. It's just a nice place. Come and relax. Tomorrow, uh, being last day, got today, and tomorrow I'm gonna get up at probably five in the morning, get packed up, uh, get on the bike, head back to Venice, spend the day in Venice, uh, the next day then pack up in the car and ride the 12 hour drive home. Uh, I'm used to it, I've done it a ton of times. Uh, it's never easy though. Um, yeah, flying, Teresa's gonna fly home. Flying's not my thing. It has been in the past. I've actually took flight lessons and flown by myself. I have like 40 hours of solo time. But there's something about a, a big plane. And it's a control thing. It's nothing about the plane. It's myself. Alrighty, so leaving uh, Key West here at 6 o'clock in the morning. Got probably six hours ahead of me to go. Not digging the headlight on this bike. I mean, I can see, but it sure would be better to see more. The high beam doesn't do anything either. Actually, I think it limits you. So that's the high beam. So you get one little beam out front, but everything else kind of goes away versus that. The main thing here is to make sure nothing runs out in front of me. There's actually deer here on in the Keys. So at some point I'm gonna have to go ahead and stop and uh, pick up me a, a senior cup of uh, McDonald's coffee. So going across the bridge in the Keys is kind of creepy. As you know you're up, I don't think you're up high on a lot of these bridges. Seven mile bridge is fairly high, but you look out to the side and there's it's just black. I mean, it's black anyway, but you just know that what's over that rail is just water and for some reason you went off, I guess the right side you'd be in the ocean, the left side you'd be in the gulf, but it don't matter. It would be terrifying. You'd have a, a long swim to wherever, and who knows where you would swim to. Um, 
Actually, it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> so we'll stay towards the center when going over bridges. Now it's getting lighter. I can I can see the water, so I know now that my fall over the wall is about 75 feet high. So I think that could be survivable. I don't know, and I can at least see to swim to land. Okay, so I'm I'm better now. But... Seven ten got the sun rise happening. Some people going out in their boats this morning. I've seen a lot of people headed out early. I do some fishing. Just turned on the Highway 41. Seen a couple alligators in this, these reservoirs here on the side. You see their head pop up every once in a while. So when I was younger at 41 North, that's went through Evansville, still goes through Evansville. That's the highway we took. This is it that took us down to Florida. Just had to get off the bike here for a minute and just look around. This is the marsh or whatever, the Everglades of Florida. Just nothing out here. I don't think I got it on on a video, but there was an alligator back there that got it evidently hit by a car. It was out in the middle, so definitely more alligators down here than people. This is out in the middle of nowhere. Hardly any cars here. Another alligator on the side of the road. And imagine hitting an alligator would just just cripple your car. It's got to blow your tires. Those things are like armor on top. Imagine hitting one of those with a speed bump and a half. And then if you did it at night, you were out here and you had to change your tire. I bet they're all moving around at night. Oh, no. That was an alligator tire. <laughs> So you don't know how much a tire tread looks like an alligator until you're riding 
and you see one in the road and you've seen two dead alligators. So this is Oasis Visitor Center. And I think I can, uh, I saw a bunch of people standing on this bridge. I'm sure there's some alligators around there. All right, let's just check this out. Pretty decent size alligator there. You know, I wonder what kind of fish those are. You can't see if there's one hiding right under the water there. You might be able to see it, but wow, he's just camouflaged. You'd never know it. I'd never know he's there. Tons of fish in there too. And this is the way it is all up and down this whole road. Ooh. Oh, there he's almost went and got one. Little alligator was fishing. Well, that was interesting. Lots of gators. Lots and lots of gators. Yeah, they're just all floating up and down there. Oh, there went one right there crossing the street. Son of a gun. I better get out of here. He's pretty big. I don't want to be any closer to him. So that answers the question, are they free to come and go out of that place? And I would say, uh, absolutely. Hitting some rain here. Pop up shower. It looks like it was heavy at one point. The good thing is, with Florida heat, sun, if you break out of this, um, you're gonna dry off. Uh, it's raining harder now. I think I'm catching it. Yeah, definitely catching the heat of it here. So wrapping up this trip, uh, it was good and relaxing. Anyway, that'll do it for this uh, this vlog, a uh, little trip to Key West and back. A little bit of motorcycle riding, a lot of car riding. Um, so we'll see, we'll see where the next one goes.
All right, that was a great trip to Florida. Enjoyed riding the, the Harley Davidson Street Glide. Um, thanks for watching the video. I'm itching to get back on the Lowrider S, uh, see where my next journey takes me. Uh, all in all, fun trip, great time. Till next time. Do you want to help edit my videos, Zoe? No!